the um, life that's, that's in a, 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 a physically fit young animal, whether it's human or a horse or a bull, you've got something within the painting that is going to, that, that is trying to get out. They are sentient beings. There's something going on in there, and you have to try and bring it out in the painting. And that's what's interesting. And, and that, 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 that's what brings a painting alive. If it's just a, a robot horse running around, it's not going to, you, you might have the movement, but you're not having the, the same feeling there. My technique is quite important to the painting. You know, the, the, the brush strokes and the, and the way I paint is, 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 a, is a part of the painting, it's expressive. You get up close and it, the, the, the paint marks themselves don't mean anything. I like, I like them all to mean something. something about the machismo of the ball. They've just got this huge body mass. They don't have a, a happy expression. They're always glowering and um, bellowing at each other. The, the mournful bellow of the bull in the field is, is quite an eerie thing. That's all I'd have on my palette. But they are the primary colours. Uh, horses are one of the places I haven't been to in painting. Um, they have the most strange markings. They, they don't seem to uh, follow any pattern. They, they, they can run down one side of the face straight and then they can go all over the other side and down the muzzle. They can sort of wander all over the place so they're not exactly sort of a uniform um, colouring effect and I, I, I wanted to uh, just let my imagination go a little bit, so it's sort of... <laughs> I did the head and, and the horse that I was using, which was an old photo I had, um, or a series of photos, he's had such a fantastic face. Oh, that's a lovely head posture. Yeah. So a superficial physical structure there with, with, with the veins and the, and the muscles exposed. You look at them, you look at the, um, the structure of the heads. You really do see how they're made.